What a rapid learning healthcare delivery system is, is a, a, a delivery system that looks at itself as a learning commons. How do we use the information we collect on our patients, the care that we're providing, and the cost of providing that care to continuously improve and have performance excellence so that we get the right care to the right patient at the right time as reliably as possible. At Intermountain, we really um, think of it as almost a three-legged stool. So there are three components of it. One is the quality training that we do, and that's led by Dr. Brent Bre James, who started it in the late 1980s, actually. And that creates a common language and a, 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 a knowledge base that's shared across the organization. Added to that, we have something called clinical programs, where we have leadership in place to create the infrastructure to ask the questions that are relevant to the organization. And then thirdly, we've got the information systems. So with those three pieces, the knowledge, the language, the infrastructure, and then the data capabilities, we're able to ask the kinds of questions that allow us to achieve mission critical performance excellence. One of the questions that we get asked frequently is how do we leverage the information that we're trying to put in place. So we have something called clinical programs and there are nine clinical programs organized largely around care services. Some people think about them as service lines. So women's and newborns, intensive pediatrics, intensive medicine, oncology services, etc. And what we do within those groups is we study unnecessary variation in the care processes. It's led by clinicians in the organization and basically we create something called care process models. This is not cookie cutter medicine. This is how do we standardize care with the best medical evidence available and then roll that out through the system through clinical decision support and in our uh, electronic health record system for example and education and training of the staff involved. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've created a learning commons internally, basically, to learn and grow and continuously improve. And we see that that's not enough. So about three years ago, we formalized a pre-existing relationship with founding partners, the Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center, uh, the Dartmouth Institute located at Dartmouth, Mayo Clinic, and um, Denver Health and Intermountain Healthcare. We've now leveraged that to 20 leading delivery systems around the United States. We've already demonstrated our ability to share data. We've published on that, largely around our total knee and hip replacement surgeries. And we've made major innovations in the way care is delivered. People ask us about the High Value Healthcare Collaborative and why we really came together and what it is we're trying to achieve together. The initial impetus coming together was to say, we can't wait for the federal government to help us transform. If we are going to survive, leading healthcare delivery systems can really come to the table as a concerted voice and help policymakers try to understand what are the best ways in which we can transform payment, what are the best ways in which we can innovate and transform the way care is delivered in our organizations. And um, one of the, the key areas that was our first inceptional area that we worked on was joint replacement. And the, the kinds of things that were interesting when we looked at the data, we saw anomalies in the data when we compared across systems that had very similar outcomes for their patients. And what we saw was, in particular at Mayo Clinic, their costs were much lower because patients were being discharged to home. So all the surgeons went to the Mayo Clinic to figure out what is Mayo doing? And basically what they were doing is they had an advanced surgery preparatory class. And by doing that, patients were much more well situated to return safely to home after their surgeries. That was taken up across the delivery systems and has now been tested. So I think it's really exciting that we're sort of taking this work to the next level. The next sort of forefront in our High Value Healthcare Collaborative and at Intermountain Healthcare is really integrating patients into the process and patient reported measures. And how do we bring that to bear in the kinds of comparative effectiveness research questions we're asking?